guys welcome to rapturous house my name is tanya i hope you all are doing absolutely absolutely wonderful today's reading is going to be for my taurus i want to see i want to see what's going on between you and the person that's currently on your mind okay i do want to thank you all i want to thank you all for all your likes all your shares all of your comments they're all greatly greatly appreciated if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. So let's see here. Hmm. This is going to be for my Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work right now, present moment in your love life. It says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you, your bond deepens here. Some of you guys are someone new here. Someone new that you're trying to get to know. And then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Some of you guys are doing with an Aries. Both these cards came out in the Aries reading. It says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Hmm. I feel like it's hard right now for you guys to trust someone. I do. I feel like right now, present moment, it is somewhat hard for you to trust someone. Some of you guys, you're still trying to, it's like you're still trying to release and heal from the past. You're trying to open up to new love, new relationships here. I just feel like you're trying to let things happen as it should, but you're having a hard time based on past experiences. Yeah, show me, show me what's going on between my Taurus and the person that they're currently thinking about. Show me the, the magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, four swords here. Some of you guys are just trying to, you're trying to manifest someone that you're separated from right now, present moment. You need time. You need time to heal. Some of you guys are trying to manifest a, a new relationship. Yeah. Four of Swords talks about rest and rejuvenation here. Eight of Cups. You've walked away from a relationship. You guys, you guys are healing from a relationship here that you've already walked away from, that you've already emotionally detached from. And you're trying to release the, the past relationship so you can heal. Some of you guys, you're, you're, you've met someone new here, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. A lot of you guys are focused on your work right now. The Tower, Scorpio energy. There's a relationship here that you have with someone that strength, Leo energy. Gosh, you found such a strength in this two of cups. You have a, you have a strong bond with someone. That two of cups talks about a relationship, a soulmate connection, strength, Leo energy coming through the tower, Scorpio energy, queen of pentacles. The, I feel like there's a connection here that's kind of blindsided you. I feel like you guys have a connection here with someone here that has kind of blindsided you. So me guys, this could be something new. Show me more. Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Nine of Wands. You guys got somebody here that won't, they don't want to give up on you. They don't want to give up on the connection and they don't want to give up on you. I feel such a lonesome energy coming from this queen of pentacles. While this queen of pentacles may have money, status, material 
things well. I feel like there's a lonesomeness in this Queen of Pentacles energy. I see this Knight of Swords rushing towards this Queen of Pentacles. But the thing about it is, I feel like this is your energy. I do. With that magician here, I feel like it's like using your resources for the good. You're strongly manifesting right now, present moment. And you're standing strong right now, present moment. I do see where there's someone rushing towards you to talk to you. Tell me more of my Taurus and this person that they're thinking about. Six of Swords. I feel like this is somebody that you're trying to... Yeah, Two of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that you're trying to move away from. You're trying to move on from this person. Two of Cups. Eight of Cups. Yeah. This could be somebody that's already in a relationship. And you're trying to walk away from this person. You're trying to move away from this person. So some of you guys, this person could already be in a relationship here. Or this is somebody that you're in a relationship with right now, present moment, because this person may act a little hasty. This is somebody that may act a little hasty here. And I feel like it's like you're trying to move away from this person. Show me more for my tours. Page of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aries. I see an apology. I see an apology coming through here. I see communication. I see a message of love. It could be from a younger Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aries, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It's like you're ready to defend yourself. You're ready. It's, it's giving me, I don't want to hear it. Like, I see where this person wants to communicate with you. I see where this person is trying to communicate with you or trying to talk to you in some type of way, shape, or form. But it's giving me also an energy of here, like not wanting to hear it. Divine timing is at work in your love life. It says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens here. So I see where that's what you guys are trying to manifest. You're trying to manifest a new relationship. Some of you guys, there is a new person here. Some of you guys, there's more than one person. You have an old person and a new person that's coming through. It says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. I feel like you're trying to detach from someone that keeps coming your way. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And I know you guys want to do that. You want to open your heart here because I do see someone new. And I see where you guys are emotionally detaching from someone else because I see someone else here with that page of cups. The center of your read is somebody ch running, chasing in, running in to talk to you. Somebody that's full of action, ready to fight for you. So you guys got somebody here. This person's ready to fight for you. But I also see somebody else here. See, there's more than one person here and you're trying to move forward. A lot of you guys are moving forward towards someone new. If it's not someone new, it's someone that's that's caring and loving and it's giving a youthful and a new energy. Some of you guys, is just this could just be a friend. This doesn't have to be a lover. This can just be a friend here. This is like moving in with a friend or moving towards a friend to get you away from somebody else as well for some of you guys. Yeah, let's see. Show me the magician for my Taurus. Show me this magician for my Taurus. I hide who I really am from you. I feel like you see this. I feel like you see this as clear as day. Your intuitions, your intuitions is on point right now, present moment. You know that there's somebody here in your energy, you know, some, I feel like it's, I feel like this is a past person. You know that this person hid who they really were, but you see it now. Show me this queen of pentacles for my tours. We will be together again. Some of you guys are dealing with another earth sign here. And this person feels like you're going to be together again here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. 
And some of you guys, I'm telling you, you're dealing with an Aries. Show me this Knight of Swords for my Taurus. I want to feel that way again. I see this person rushing in to talk to you. So you guys have someone here that wants to talk to you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. But I feel the need to ask why now? Why now, spirit? I don't react when people mention you. I feel like this person feels some type of way because you're doing better without them or because you are because you're moving away from them. Yeah, because you're moving away from them. It's like you're you're feel, you're, you're you're making it appear like you're unfazed and unbothered. And that bothers this person. Show me this six of swords for my Taurus. You were the best thing in my life. This person is recognizing that you were the best thing in their life. And they know they messed up. There's someone here that knows that they messed up here. I feel like you're somewhat over this person, though. Show me this page of cups for my chores. I regret lying to you. I see an apology coming in for you guys because whoever this is, this person regrets lying to you. They regret whatever it is that they did. They do. They feel you. They see you moving, trying to move away from, getting, trying to get away from their drama and from their BS. You know, and I feel like you guys feel like this person hasn't changed. I do. I feel like you guys feel like this person hasn't changed. But I feel like you guys are moving towards someone new. Like some of you guys could be actually relocating or moving in with someone. I just saw 1212 on the clock. And it's like you're trying to let go of this past person because you want a new connection. You want to build something new with someone else. Your spirit guides are saying, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all if only this person, this other person would let you go and let you do that. Let you live is what I'm hearing. It's like if only this person would just kind of let you live. Yeah, show me. The person that my Taurus is thinking about right now, present moment. How does this person feel about my Taurus? The hangman and the tower. See, I told you like this, there's something here. Uh, there's a surprise here. This, this unexpected energy. This person, you've surprised this person. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person's very, very attracted to you. This person feels like you're a go-getter. Strong Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming through. I feel like you've shocked this person. This person didn't expect your reaction. They didn't expect you to be, to try to, they didn't expect for you to move away from them. Yeah, I feel like this person didn't expect this from you. And how does my Taurus feel about this person that they're thinking about? Ace of Wands, you're thinking about somebody new. Two of Cups, see that? You guys are thinking about a new connection. You're thinking about a connection with somebody here that Ace of Wands talks about a new, there's a new spark here. New passion. See, you're thinking about somebody new, Two of Cups, Page of Cups again coming through. I told you, there's someone here from your past that wants to talk to you and that keeps coming at you. But you guys are moving towards someone new. There's someone, this could be like a friend, but a soulmate. Someone that you're highly attracted to. And whoever it is that you're leaving behind, you're shocking the shit out of this person. Because they weren't expecting this behavior from you is what I'm hearing. They weren't expecting this from you. Not at all. Show me more. 
Show me more for my Taurus. Take a reality check. Some of you guys are dealing with a Capricorn. And this person's full of himself. Some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. This person is full of himself. Or you could be dealing with somebody here and this person works a lot. And they expect you to fall in line is what I'm hearing. Show me more for my Taurus. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini here. Speak your world into being here. This could be somebody new. Some of you guys, you could be dealing with a very powerful manifester. It could be a Gemini. This is somebody here that you have a soul bond with. This is someone that you have a soul bond with. The number 16 could be very significant. I also have the number 12. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo. Be humble here. This person's a people pleaser. This person is very passionate, very adventurous. This person could be adventurous in bed as well. And then we have new moon in Aries. Some of you guys have done with an Aries. This person's very like a go getter. Like they they pursue and they pursue strongly. Whoever this person is, this person pursues and they pursue strongly. Yeah. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Until next time. Bye, Taurus.